ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes of the Commonwealth. the last Commonwealth Games in 2002, England. England lead the way. Tony Alley carrying the flag, 32-year-old from Sheffield, who's in the springboard and synchro swimming, same springboard diving, of course. Yes, England won 165 medals last time around. They won seven badminton medals in Manchester, and the star pairing now has to be the Olympic silver medalist Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems. They are ranked number one in the world in mixed doubles. Nathan from Nottingham has recovered from the ankle injury, which kept him out of the last year's World Championship. Gail's going to be busy because she's in the women's doubles as well. And is a very strong swimming squad as well. 22-year-old Simon Burnett is the biggest name of British swimming at the present time. Since making his international debut at the last Commonwealth, he's catapulted himself into world-class form, breaking the British record in all three of the freestyle sprint races at the trials, including that of 35-year-old Mark Foster in the 53. Flag of Cyprus, only used on international occasions. It's uh, a map of their country. Herodotus Gilgalis is the flag bearer. He is, and these are his fourth games. He comes to Melbourne to mount a joint defence of the gymnastics rings title that he won in Manchester alongside Scotland's Steve Frew. Now, remarkably, both of these men each scored 9.462 for their respective routines in the GMX that day. Gibraltar, ceded to Britain by Spain in 1713, there have been arguments, it seems, ever since. Eloise Manasco, there is the flag, second games, he's in the uh, air rifle. 21 in the team, four officials, Guernsey Follow of the Channel Islands, last remnants of the medieval dukedom of Normandy. Triathlete Damien Tracker is aiming to outrace his fellow Channel Islander competitors from Jersey. He said that someone has to do it on the global stage. That's what prompted him to take part. Plenty of flags for the Isle of Man. Harry Creevy is the flag bearer from the Aberdeen in Douglas. He's a hotelier. Now, we've seen Guernsey, and here at Jersey. This is the largest team that Jersey have ever sent to the Games since appearing in 1958. Malta. Ireland in the Mediterranean, awarded the George Cross by King George VI in 1943. William Chikuti, the bronze in the double trap in Manchester. That was only their second ever medal. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland next. It's the whole European group which comes first, as you will have guessed. Yes, it's Louise Aiken who carries the flag. She's in the shooting events and another man on target should be Northern Ireland shooting star, quite literally, retired RAF pilot David Colbert is the province's most successful Commonwealth Games competitor in history. Four golds and three bombs in the full bore rifle competition and he's expected to be bang on form in the range in Bendigo just outside the city centre. And here are the Scots in Marsden, shooter, making sure that everyone sees the flag. Yes, he's making his sixth appearance as the man from Persia, Ian. 
and Scotland have gold medal ambitions tomorrow when the reigning Olympic champion Chris Hoy gets on his bike at the Velodrome. The man from Edinburgh so memorably took the time trial gold in Athens and he's got a battle royal against the old enemy to win here in Melbourne against his great mate and Sydney gold medalist Jason Creeley. High road and the low road. Wales. Here is the Welsh dragon. Is it to be for David Davis to end 50 years of supremacy in the 1500 metres by the Aussie swimmers? Dame Tanny Gray Thompson, the flag bearer. Yes, you mentioned David Davis, the man from Barry. He's about 18 seconds faster than anyone else in the field in the 1500 metres. And March could be a big month for the Davis family. David just turned 21 and perhaps he can provide gold on his parents' silver wedding anniversary. Eight incidentally, four golds for their 50. The Welsh team. It'll be quite a long wait for the European competitors. Starting to split into areas. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get on our next guests into the stadium tonight, let's take a few moments to visit the Gallery River, where a flotilla of craft are escorting the Queen's Banner as it approaches Princess Bridge on the final leg. It's journey here to the MCG. Carrying the baton is Glen Waverley Rovers Junior Football Club player, Lindsay Blair.